golf is the greatest experience of my life. I'm... Wait a minute. <laughs> well, but you were there. Well, I think we're a fairy tale story. I, I, I really do that um, we've been best friends since we were 15. We met at Culver. We've been together ever since. And in this day and age, the remarkable thing is we've been married for 60 years. I cannot believe it. My daddy accepted a job as director of horsemanship at Culver in 1957. And suddenly I was pulled out of Georgia and ended up in Indiana at a, an all boys school. And so there was not a decision. This, and this is what you do. Uh, you don't argue with your parents. So that's why <laughs> I was there. And now, of course, I view it as one of the greatest blessings of my life. Now, your story is different. Uh, yeah, slightly. Um, living down the street from us, from my parents uh, in Maryland, just outside of Washington, I had a girlfriend. <laughs> and her father had gone to Culver. And one day he mentioned that, you know, I think you would be, you would enjoy Culver. I don't know whether he was trying to get rid of me or uh, whatever, but uh, I told my dad and he said, well, okay, well, let's go out and visit. And we went out and visited and lo and behold, General Spivey was the superintendent and they knew each other. Didn't know prior to us going out there that he was there, so we're so But they had known each other in the Pentagon, I guess in the uh, Second World War. So it became an old time visit for them. I just sat there and listened and somehow I got in <laughs> and, and loved it. You know, that, that those years, your first year, your whole year was a plea year. And uh, we managed to have a lot of fun, drive the upper, upperclassmen nuts, and they got retaliation on us, but uh, it was fun. I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed three years of cult, and I found a soulmate. So, what, what more, <laughs> what more can I say? I, between us, I can't really just speak to the girls because my experience was so totally different than the girls today. Um, but I can speak to the student body as a whole. Um, this is your time. It may, it may uh, you may think, I don't want to do this. I don't want to be here. But I promise you, this is your time. Soak it up. Uh, make the friends. Go through the experiences, even the discipline. But you will come out a stronger uh, person able to do whatever you want with your life, but it's your future. And seize this, because I promise you, I promise you it will go so quickly. It'll be gone. And when you're 40 years old, you'll look back and say, oh yeah, I learned that at Culver. Yeah, we give to numerous charity schools, and in many cases, it's for faculty support for furthering education, for their continuing education. Uh, because that is the backbone. That is the, the piece that, that everything comes together around. If your faculty is not good, it's tough to have a good school. I think the reason we give back, one of them, obviously, both graduates, and I feel I won't speak for my wife, but I feel that I owe a debt back to Culver for what they gave me. At the time, I didn't realize it. Uh, just absolutely, you know, clueless. Um, and I just feel that that uh, continuing that kind of, of how can I say, education, making it available to other people, 
is very worthwhile. You know, Colbert made an impression on both of us. We obviously have a special connection with it. And uh, we'll continue to support it as long as we can. And we did when we were young. I mean, I, I can remember, look at the Santa Claus for $10. When I look at people uh, that have been, in, in our day it was called Man of the Year, sort of thing, and, and the wonderful things, and the wonderful, I enjoy my alumni magazine so much, and the, as I read about people, and I think, oh my gosh, and even, even girls that fellow co-eds, I think, oh, look at the brilliant things these these women have done. And why us? Why us? But then I realized, you know, there are a whole lot of people at Culver that are just like us. Just ordinary people uh, trying to make the most of what's been given us. Honey, you're anything but ordinary. Well, that's true. <laughs> We are Culver. We. We. The two of us. The we. two. <laughs>